Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Hey everyone, in today's video, you're going to learn how to tie this beautiful beaded triple ringed lace pattern using shuttle tatting. Two important things you will be learning by doing this lace pattern. Firstly, you will get to know how to attach beads to your laces. Secondly, you will be learning about a different type of uh, lock join. At three places, you will be doing a lock join. So these are the two things that you will be learning by watching this video. The materials required for doing this uh, lace pattern are a single thread and a single shuttle. I'm going to use silk cone thread only. Since we are adding beads, you need to have beads according to the size of your thread. Loading of these beads onto your thread is very easy. If the middle hole is bigger, you can just pass the thread through the center hole of your bead and string them up. But if the size of the center hole of your bead is smaller, then you have to string those beads with the help of an uh, RE needle or an ordinary sewing needle. This is the pattern that we are going to follow for making this lace. Okay, We'll be working this lace pattern in clusters of three, ring one, ring two, ring three. Okay, So after that, we will do the reverse work and continue with the second cluster of three rings ring 4, ring 5, ring 6. Okay, so like this you will be uh, repeating in an alternative manner until the desired length of your lace is attained. So before you start, what you have to do is you have to load uh, the required number of beads onto your shuttle. Okay, so after loading we'll start with the ring 1. So this is the count we'll be following for the double stitches and the picots. Once this is done, we'll close the ring and we'll pull one bead from the uh, shuttle and keep it behind our hands. I'll show you how to do that. For ring two, we will be starting with the four uh, double stitches and then ring two will be joined with ring one. After joining, we'll tat another five double stitches. Now we'll pull the uh, bead that we had kept behind our fingers to the front. Then once again, we'll continue with the uh, stitches, close the ring and move on to the third ring. Once all these uh, double stitches have been tatted, we'll close the ring. And this is the new thing that you will be learning. There's a different uh, lock join done in this pattern. So in three places you will be putting a lock join okay so here's one second and third so each pattern has its own way of doing things so the first thing that we have to do is load beads we have already done that make sure all the beads are uh, way behind your working area so that it doesn't disturb so let's start starting the first ring okay so you know how to do that hold the thread an inch away from the thread end and wrap it across your fingers okay and then start tatting the stitches that are required for ring one i have tatted the stitches required for the first ring i'm just going to close it up after closing I'm going to start with the second ring. So before starting the second ring, you have to pull one bead from the shuttle and then keep it behind your fingers, okay? And then bring the hand thread to the starting point. Now we start tatting the stitches very close to ring one. Now I have tatted the first out of four stitches. Now we have to join this ring with the previous ring. Okay. 
so after joining let's start another five more double stitches I have started the five double stitches after joining the pattern says we have to add a bead okay so pull up the bead that's behind your fingers to the front okay and continue with the double stitches now I have tattered the stitches required for the second ring let's close it up after closing let's tat the third ring by following this pattern okay don't leave any gap just keep on tatting and complete it now I have tatted the stitches that are required for ring 3 I'm just going to close it up okay so after closing what we have to do is before doing the reverse work, we have to join the thread directly without tatting, okay, to the last pico of ring 3. So for this, what you have to do is, you have to just tie this uh, hand thread onto your little finger and then keep the last pico of ring 3 on top of the hand thread and pull up the thread through the pico pass your shuttle release the thread and put a lock join without tatting we have just pulled the thread through the pico and put a join okay now we have to do the reverse work okay so i'm just flipping my work like this let me hide this uh, thread end after reversing our work We'll move on to the second cluster of rings. Okay, so let's start ring four. So just wrap the thread across your fingers. Make sure the beads are all way away from the working area. Okay, so now we are going to tat four double stitches. Okay, so after tatting the first set of double stitches now we have to join now see where i am joining okay so we have to take the thread okay that we used to put the lock join okay so take that thread hope you are able to see that thread now pull up the hand thread in through this thread And then pass your shuttle through the loop and put a join okay so after joining we have to tat another five double stitches I have tatted five double stitches now again we have to join see where I'm joining which have to join to the pico that's closest to you actually this is the last pico of ring one okay Keep this pico on top of your hand thread and pull up your hand thread past the shuttle and tighten it up so that there's a joint. And now you continue with the double stitches. Okay, so with this we have finished the stitches that are required for ring 4. I'm just going to close it. So after closing, we move on to the next ring ring five so before tatting pull one uh, bead from the shuttle and hold it behind your fingers okay and start the stitches that are required for ring five okay let's join this with the fourth ring and once again tat another five stitches I've tatted five double stitches it's now 
time to add the bead so just pull this bead from behind and hold it tightly and do the next set of double stitches okay so you just try to complete this now I've tattered the stitches that are required for ring 5. Let's close it up. So after closing, I'm going to tat the next ring. So let's join with ring 5. And continue with the stitches. Now I've tattered the stitches required for ring 6. I'm just going to close it. So with this I have completed two sets of uh, three rings. Okay. So we'll move on to the third set of rings. So before that you have to make one join here. So you have to join the last pico of ring 6. Okay, so just put a knot. Okay, so after putting the knot, we have to do the reverse work. Okay, I've just flipped my work. So after flipping, once again you will be following this uh, pattern in an alternative manner. Okay, so now let's start tatting the seventh ring with four double stitches. Okay, so I've tatted four double stitches. This has to be joined with the thread end that we have pulled over here. So you see the thread here. Okay, so pull up the hand thread through this space and put a join okay once again you continue with your double stitches okay. so now just after this join this seventh ring with the fourth one just join it up with the pico that's next to you okay And now you just continue with the stitches that are required for ring 7. Now I've tattered the stitches that are required for ring 7. So I'm just closing it up. So this is how you will be uh, tatting this lace pattern. Now with this thread end what you do is uh, bring it up to the wrong side the back side okay of your lace pattern and then apply some glue and stick it up okay so once the glue is dried up you just cut the excess thread stick up the thread at the back this is how you will be tatting the lace pattern so after ring 7 you tat ring 8 for ring 8, you will be adding the bead in the center. Then ring 9, keep on adding the cluster of uh, 3 rings till the required length of your lace is done. So you can tap this uh, lace pattern without beads also. So as per the shade of your uh, garment, you can pick up the thread color. And if you want the pattern, uh, this is the pattern. So basically what we we've done for this is that instead of uh, the bead you just put a pico okay so that's the only difference between beaded version and ordinary pattern so as per your need you can just keep on tatting uh, this uh, lace pattern and you can use them as a bookmark or a lace edging for your garments hope you learned something new from this video Thanks for watching. Happy chatting.